Chuck, you may have heard of the wave particle duality. Yes. Light. That? Yeah. Is it a wave or it's is a it a part particle? And hey, you got, to, you got wave in my particle. Hey, you got particle <laughs> right. in my wave. If you're over 60, you'll get that reference to a TV commercial yeah. <laughs> for Reese's, Reese's yeah. peanut butter. Reese's cup. peanut butter. So the problem is we have a brain that wants to compartmentalize. Okay. And doesn't really blend to what feels like disparate bits of information. So people try. They invented the word wavical. I thought that was pretty cool. Never caught on. Wavical. Have you yeah. ever heard wavical? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it, never it doesn't work. That's why. It doesn't work. But let me just give some uh, interesting examples. <laughs> wavical. Okay. It actually sounds like uh, something the professor from The Simpsons. Wavical. You know, hyphen, flavin. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right. So uh, before we pick up Wavical, let me just remind you that light, which in my field we call the electromagnetic spectrum, okay, is all forms of light. The most familiar to us is visible light, okay? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Okay. But if you go on the other side of red, you get to what? Um. Infrared. Infrared, very nice. The eye, your retina can't detect it, but it exists. Right. We do have infrared sensors. It's we detect it on our skin as heat. All right. Oh. So we, we can detect infrared, but not we don't see it. We feel it though. That, by the way, makes us sound so much cooler than we really are. Oh, with our with our skin sensors. We've yeah. got infrared sensors. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Now uh, you go beyond the violet, you get what? Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet, so that's beyond the violet. We can't see ultraviolet either. Right. We also have sensors for ultraviolet, but they're significantly time delayed. Oh, I thought <laughs> you meant like black lights that just show us all the nastiness that happened in a hotel. Oh, no, no, that, no. What happens in, in the, in under quote, black light is you're, you're illuminating the crime scene with ultraviolet light, which you cannot see and certain substances fluoresce under it and send you the light back in violet light that you can see. Ha ha. So you're never seeing the ultraviolet. You're never seeing the no. ultraviolet. No, 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 no. Okay, oh, so, nah. so here we are in ultraviolet. We have ultraviolet sensors. They're just time delayed, okay? Okay. So the time delay is, okay, you're out in the sun. Oh, and an hour later you feel like you have your sun, if you have lighter colored skin, you're, you feel like you're, you get sunburned. And okay. you do that enough, then you get skin cancer. These are, in a way, detectors of ultraviolet. It's just too late. For right. You. Okay. Right. Uh, let's go back the other end. Uh, so we had red, infrared, and you keep going in that direction on the spectrum. By the way, what's changing on the spectrum is the wavelength of the light. Okay. Right? So as we go to the red, wavelengths are getting bigger and bigger. We get to, ultra, we get to infrared. Beyond inf uh, infrared, we get to microwaves. Micro, yeah. Okay, so now I can describe the, the length of the wave like with physical fingers and things. So a microwave is like a few millimeters to like maybe a couple of centimeters around oh, there. Oh, wow. This, just call it a centimeter. Yeah, a physical centimeter. That's, is, that's is a like, pretty big wave. That's a big wave. That's a half an inch. Uh, and so wow, full wave, a crest and a trough gets manifested in that space when you have microwaves. Okay. Nice. Okay. Let's go beyond that. You get to what we call radio waves. Right. So before microwaves had their own name, they were just short wavelength radio waves. Okay. Gotcha. You've heard, you've heard short, short wave wave? radio. Yeah. Okay. So then we said, well, there's small versions of radio waves. Let's call them microwaves. And that's why they have, they're called micro, even though they're bigger than infrared. Right. All right. That's all I'm saying here. Okay. So, so radio waves are like meters and longer. We don't have word, they, a, a radio wave can be miles in wavelength, but we don't have a different word for that. Wow. So radio, radio waves are for everything bigger than microwaves. Wow. All right, so now watch. If I want to detect a radio wave, I need a thing that's at least as big as one of the waves. Gotcha. So TV, old world TV, 
before it came in via cable, used antennae. Mm-hmm. How long was a TV antenna? Um, two stories high. <laughs> the one on your TV exactly. was about a meter long. Right, yeah. Okay, in fact, you'd have two of them. Sticking out all over the place. And you'd extend it to about the length of the waves of the, of the radio waves you're trying to receive. Okay. All I'm saying is you can't detect waves bigger than the size of your detector. It doesn't work. Okay. Okay? It, it'll just wash over your detector and your detector won't even know what happened. Right? right. So how about microwaves? Have you ever seen a microwave um, walkie-talkies? How long is the antenna on a microwave walkie-talkie? Uh, you know, it's about like that. Eh, that's nothing to it. It's yeah. about it's about. Uh, it's a like an inches. inch and a half. If inch that. And a half. There's your microwaves. That's the size of the microwaves. That's pretty wild. Uh, that's that's so it it is the size to fit the situation. Right. Okay. That also means. If you have a substance that prevents the transmission of any of this energy, okay, you could put holes in it, and as long as the holes are smaller than the wave, the wave is not going to get through. Whoa! That, is well, that the, like... So, uh, take a look at your microwave oven. That's what I was about to say. That's why I, so, all so the gla- microwaves... So, why, microwaves go through glass, no problem. Gotcha. All right? So, but... So you have a glass thing. So microwaves and visible light go through. So you can see your food cooking. But there's something else on the other side. There's a screen. Screen, yeah. a, And that screen is opaque to microwaves. Okay. Except they put holes in it. Uh, now, that's why I got this tumor on my head. No, you stop. Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> Don't stick your head inside the microwave. Yeah. So, so... Neither you nor the microwaves can see through that material except for the fact that they put holes in the material. Right. How big are the holes? Tiny. They're smaller than the size of the microwaves they're using in that oven. That's pretty wild. Microwaves cannot squeeze out. It's the antenna in reverse. In reverse. Ooh, I like that. Very clever. Cool. Very clever. So, so, So you can put holes in things. So radio telescopes. Have you ever seen a radio telescope? Go to a radio telescope one day. They're huge, and they're made of, like, mesh. They're like chicken wire mesh with these huge holes in it because it's, depending on which kind of radio telescope you're visiting, that the the, the metal is reflective of radio waves, but you don't have to build the whole surface of of metal. You can put big holes in it, makes it lighter, all right? And rain can get through and not a problem. And with because of these huge dishes and they can take radio waves, reflect them to a focus. And there you have it. That is uh, really, really cool. Well, let's keep going in the other direction. OK, okay. okay. there's more. But wait, there's more. OK, <laughs> I was satisfied. But yes, right. please. Continue. So let's go. The, let's go the other direction. So we go uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, ultraviolet. You go beyond ultraviolet. You have X-rays. X-rays. Right. Wavelengths are getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. OK, okay? really tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Much smaller than the wavelengths for visible light. Aha. All right, so now watch. If I have a regular microscope and I want to see something small, Mm -hmm. I cannot see anything smaller than the wavelength of the violet light I'm using in the visible spectrum. Oh, man. Because That's, otherwise, it washes right over it. It would not even know it's there. Right. Okay. So, if you want to see things smaller than the wavelength of visible light, the, that would be the violet side of it, you need even smaller wavelengths of light. Interesting. So, so here's how, talk about getting clever. You ready? Okay. So, people said, how about electrons? Right. You say, well, electrons are particles. They're not waves. They're also waves. Oh, my gosh. What wavelength corresponds to electrons that we could generate in a machine? X-rays. Got it. Oh, That's my right. gosh. Yeah. So electrons and X-rays have the same wavelength. Wow. 
So if I invent a microscope that uses electrons, then I'm using a wavelength of light as small as x-rays so I can see the tiniest detail. So the photographs that have this, the most exquisite detail of the smallest things are not regular microscope photographs. They're electron microscopes. Because we, we, co we, we, what do you call it? We co-opted, we commandeered electrons, piggybacked an electron using the X-ray wavelength that it represents to take, that's why you see those bug pictures with the hairs and right. the thing yeah. and the, and the, and the, um, and the, the bacteria, all of this, there you go. That is fascinating. That, that's, and, that's, that, and that's isn't it how clever? electron microscopes work. And that's how they work. Isn't it clever of the human mind to do that? After quantum physics, we said, we got the wave particle duality, and I can't see anything smaller than the wavelength of violet light. But I know there's got to be detail there, because there's detail up until the point where it gets fuzzy. Right. Well, let me keep going. And then you invent the electron microscope, and bada bing, the world of, of the small continues to open to you. So that means if so is our gamma, what's the smallest wave? Is it gamma? Uh, yeah. So the smallest uh, waves that we have a word for are gamma rays. So gamma rays are, are, like, are the opposite, like, like radio waves. So it's smaller wavelengths than X-rays are gamma rays. And then we don't have it, we don't keep dividing it. So, so gamma rays that are like really, really, really small, they're still, they're still called gamma rays, yes. Okay, gotcha. So gotcha. the problem yeah. is if you, a gamma ray telescope, you have to be able to focus it. Okay. It's not good enough just to use the light. You, have, you need to be clever about when the machine you're making, and we know how to focus electrons because they have a charge. And right. so we can focus them down and get images and things. So, yeah. So the only thing uh, gamma rays are good for is making you a superhero. A Hulk, yeah. 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 That's, gotcha. that's, that's tested, we, we know. Right, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's gamma rays on, on Spider-Man too. If, um, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. But well, there was a radioactive spider. It was a radioactive it, spider that bit him. Bit him. But and I, I don't, I, I'm not sure what ra what 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 kind what of the machine was, was yeah. using to make him. Yeah. You know. First yes. of all, I just love that we went from pure science. Here's how an electron microscope <laughs> works. To now, exactly uh, how the Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how you become the Hulk. If you and want this to is do how this you become the Hulk. In your basement. <laughs> so all I'm saying is check your microwave oven. If your holes are the size of like a centimeter, they're too big and microwaves are leaking out. Right. If they're down around a millimeter or two, then that's a good size. You're not getting the microwave. The microwaves are not getting out. There you go. There you go. You don't want to end up with a tumor on your head like Chuck Nice. See? What do you do? What? What? Why are you? Why? That TMI. <laughs> So what's going on on your forehead? Oh, uh, not, not, I had a concussion some time ago, and this I have to get this surgically removed. So it's it's there now, so, and it won't okay. go away. Okay, all right. And my wife did it. Okay. <laughs> I, I maybe I, I may have buried the lead, but <laughs> I <don't worry. laughs> so all right. So that's a little bit um, on size and wavelengths that you awesome. might not have known uh, a connection that you might not have known was ever there. That was great. This is Star Talk. We did some explaining today. Neil deGrasse Tyson, keep looking up. <laughs>